So today, we're gonna use two key ingredients that are considered a staple in my household, uh, sweet potatoes and chickpeas, and we're gonna create a dish that has an insane amount of flavor to it and is very healthy for you. We're talking roasted sweet potatoes with chickpeas. Now the beauty of this recipe, like so many that we do here on the show, is that it's very easy to make, uh, where there's no tricky techniques, it's made with the simplest ingredients and it comes together in about 40 minutes. You know, folks, like I've told you in the past, this is the kind of food we should all be eating. Not only because it's got a ton of flavors to it, but it's the kind of food that's going to make you feel like a million bucks. All right, let's begin by grabbing two sweet potatoes, uh, scrubbing each one clean under some cold running water, and then patting them completely dry. To make this dish, you want to leave the skins on the sweet potatoes. That way, once they get roasted, they hold their shape. And let me tell you, the skin in the sweet potatoes also contains an amazing amount of nutrition. Then we'll cut each sweet potato in half lengthwise. And add them cut side down into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper. Then we'll drizzle each one with a kiss of extra virgin olive oil. And a pinch of sea salt. And we'll add the sweet potatoes into a preheated oven, bake and broil option. That's the bottom and top heat, very similar to a convection oven, 210 degrees Celsius, which is about 410 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, let's start getting the rest of the ingredients ready. I'm gonna drain a can of chickpeas into a colander and rinse them under some cold running water. The size of the can that I'm using is just your standard size, which is 15 and a half ounces or 440 grams. Then we'll grab a large fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in the drained chickpeas. And we're gonna dry roast our chickpeas just between two to three minutes. After about three minutes, and all the water has been cooked off from the canned chickpeas, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 15 milliliters, along with one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is two and a half grams, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, which is one gram, a pinch of sea salt, and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a gentle mix until everything's well mixed together. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. And we'll turn off the heat and leave our chickpeas to sit here. That way all the flavors can develop. For the next step, let's start making the creamy sauce. I'm gonna add in another 15 and a half ounce can of chickpeas into a food processor, which once again was 440 grams, and I did rinse them beforehand. Along with two cloves of garlic, half a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, which is about eight milliliters, and two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. Then we'll season with a kiss of sea salt, and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll run the food processor for about one minute or until everything's well mixed. Once everything is well mixed, I'm gonna add in between a quarter cup to half a cup of cold water, which is anywhere between 120 to 240 milliliters or until we end up with a beautiful creamy sauce. And that's the exact texture you're looking for right there. All right, let's move back to the sweet potatoes. They've been roasting in the oven between 30 to 40 minutes. And at this point, they should be perfectly cooked through. Of course, every oven heats differently, so it might take you less time or even more time. Either way, you can always tell when they're perfectly roasted. You just pierce them with a toothpick, and if it easily goes in there, they are ready to go. At this point, I'm gonna take them out of the oven and then rest for a couple minutes. Once the sweet potatoes are cool enough to handle, let's start assembling our dish. I'm gonna add in one of the sweet potatoes cut side up into a serving dish. And using a fork, we'll gently mash down on the sweet potato. This is gonna help widen the surface as well as ensure that when we add the rest of the ingredients, they perfectly set over the sweet potato. 
Then we'll add in the spiced chickpeas over the sweet potatoes. A couple of cherry tomatoes that have been sliced in half. And let me tell you, the tartness from the tomatoes brings a beautiful balance of goodness. And for the final touches, we'll add in some of the creamy sauce over the sweet potatoes. And sprinkle it with some chopped arugula. Check it out, our roasted sweet potatoes with chickpeas is done. A heart healthy dish that's easy to make and promises to knock it out of the ballpark. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. As always folks, now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see how this dish tastes. Here we go. Beautiful looking dish. But even better. It's a combination of all the flavors. Uh, the roasted sweet potatoes, you just melt in your mouth. And then the spiced chickpeas and that cream sauce take things to the next level. You saw this so easy to make, uh, made with simple heart healthy ingredients. Give this a try at home. And I promise it's gonna make it to your weekly mini rotation because it is that good. Really quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Nancy T. David Anthony, Jean, Maybeth Robles, and William Judd. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Uh, leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that we're Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.